In the photography and design world, there's a myth that I repeatedly run into. It's one even you may believe, and it's a huge roadblock to creativity. Hello, my name is Rickard, and today I'd like to address a common misconception. The notion that your technical prowess, be it in Photoshop or any other software, directly translates to your level of creativity. Do you ever feel like you're pouring your heart into your digital art, but it just falls flat? So you invest hours in mastering tools and settings, but your work doesn't seem to improve proportionately. I know this has definitely happened to me. But what if the key to creating truly inspiring images wasn't about Photoshop skill at all, but something entirely different? The truth is, there's an almost inverse relationship between technical skills and creativity. The more you get bogged down in the intricacies of Photoshop, the less room there is for your artistic voice to shine through. I've seen countless examples of Photoshop veterans struggling to express themselves while beginners produce stunning work with minimal technical knowledge. So what's the secret ingredient these veterans are missing? Imagine spending years memorizing every button in Photoshop only to find yourself using a tiny fraction of these in your artwork, or learning every blending mode and not having a clue which one to use to create the visual effect you're trying to achieve. There's a principle I found over my 24 years as a Photoshop artist, graphic designer, and creative director and now as an instructor of tens of thousands of new artists. You only need to learn about 20% of Photoshop to get 90% of your results, and mastering the remaining 80% might take years, and by then the software will have changed to the point where half your training will be outdated. And with how fast Photoshop is changing these days, it won't be years, it'll be months. It's so frustrating that many give up on this fact alone. But there is a better way, a method that focuses on the 20% that truly matters and allows you to bypass years of technical slog. I call this the creative Photoshop learning method. It's the method I use to teach myself the skills I needed to thrive in the creative industry, despite no formal training or degree. This method flips the script. Instead of getting lost in the endless menus and tools, we focus on the core principles that truly matter. Composition, color theory, atmosphere, shadow and light, the fundamentals of good design and art. By mastering these foundations, you can learn the recipes for creative results, not just memorize settings and tools. Think of it like learning the language of art allowing you to express your vision clearly and effectively, even if you're new to Photoshop or move from software to software. Imagine being able to create amazing digital art without being a trained illustrator or painter, creating the things in your imagination, how you envision them, not how you're able or unable to execute them. Imagine having the skills to get big jobs from your dream clients, or just impressing your own friends and family with your amazing artwork. All of this is possible without having to be a 10 year plus Photoshop wizard using the creative Photoshop learning method. And in that regard, I've got some great news for you. On Friday, April 26th, I'm launching my Nuclei Academy 2.0. I'm going to be guiding a select group through my creative Photoshop learning method, teaching you how to turn your own photos into striking composite images. You'll learn about color theory, about the fundamentals of good design, and the essential tools you need in Photoshop to bring your imagination to life. In addition to training, the Academy gives you access to hundreds of assets, presets, and tools. These are high-quality, royalty-free brushes, overlays, textures, as well as actions, color presets, and more that you can put to use right away. If you're interested, 
click on the link in the description and enter your email to get on the waitlist. As this training solution is truly personal with live Zoom calls and one-on-one -on -one troubleshooting, I am limiting the number of members we're accepting and registration is limited to three times a year so that I can dedicate the necessary personalized attention and structured training for each new group of students. As part of this relaunch, I'm creating a free six-part video series on the Creative Photoshop learning method. So whether you join me in the academy or not, you'll get tools you can use immediately to improve your skills and start learning Photoshop the right way. In closing, keep this practical tip in mind. When you're bogged down on a creative project, pause and identify the visual effect you're trying to achieve and then focus solely on learning the tools you need to achieve that task. Repeat this enough times and you'll soon find yourself in control of your creativity, not at the mercy of software or technicalities. In our next video, we'll delve into another significant challenge for artists, creative block. So stay tuned to uncover the secrets to overcoming the, these obstacles and maintaining a steady flow of creative inspiration. Subscribe now for the next installment, and I'll see you next time.